All right, guys, so today we're going to be covering the topic of really good helmets. Uh, these are both two prototypes. This is the Nirvana FC5 with um, its own, this is probably like the 10th additional version of its headset integra in, in, integrated, incorporated into the helmet. This is what I believe is the first production version of the PPG Smoke headset into a helmet by a manufacturer. But this is still very much a prototype and we're still trying to work out the kinks. But this is also a great opportunity, besides just talking about these two helmets, it's a great opportunity to talk about why a thousand dollar and maybe just a little bit sub thousand dollar helmet is such an important investment. Uh, obviously the price that, uh, would vary um, according to the, the region and the importer and at what cost they bring it in. But when we fly cross country and you share airspace with other aircraft, um, it's kind of important to have good communications. And the problem that we've seen, we've seen a lot of accidents and we've seen some really high profile accidents where uh, paramotors have been hit by, by aircraft, especially what we've seen quite recently in the States. And this is something that could be remedied very easily if pilots started using radios. It's not that they have to communicate, but if they're aware of traffic and they are on a frequency, then they might be, uh, they might have the ability to, um, to dodge any oncoming traffic or notify traffic of their intentions uh, on your, or their location. Anyways, the region that we're flying in um, here in Africa is very regulated and we share the airspace with even with larger aircraft up to commercial aircraft and um, I'm going to be proving this by one of the expeditions I'm going out is flying from an international airport to another country's international airport and I'm going to be sharing airspace with very heavy commercial aircraft and I'm not going to be using a transponder but basically just communicating my position and uh, everything else tools wise that uh, is at our disposal such as a smartphone with GPS uh, and very good communications. So these are two really great examples of some of the best helmets on the market. Uh, there are other very good helmets um, uh, that I've seen on the market as well. But to me, looks are kind of important as well and functionality goes along with that. So if you've got a helmet that um, looks like a skateboarder helmet, it is probably an option that you can wear if it's an unregulated airspace. But if you, um, if, if you fail to invest in a really good headset, then uh, it's almost like you're planning to fail. Uh, let's go over what these two different products offer and I'm going to start with the PPG Smoke headset. Now the PPG Smoke headset I found to have, I really like the sound that comes from it. Um, we've, we've had to work extensively or Nirvana's had to work extensively with some 3D printed parts to try and make this work and fit into the shell of the carbon fiber FC5 helmet which is almost the same as this one but they had to they had to adapt it to make it work for the FC5. Now the FC5 is a product that is uh, uh, retailed by or manufactured by a company in the States. Obviously, they don't. I, I believe they don't manufacture it actually in the United States, but they Chinese made. Um, the functionality is really great in the sense that it's got a 4,000 milliamp battery, so you can even charge your phone with it. It's got an amplifier built in that if you're listening to music, it can boost the sound and it's fantastic. Now, why is that important? Because guys that fly long range and uh, spend a lot of time in the air, uh, it's, it can get kind of lonely if you're not flying with someone. So having the ability to make phone calls and listen to music, that could be a really nice feature. I can't imagine doing any of those long range long range races if I didn't have really good communication. So I'm kind of happy with the fact that uh, the PPG Smoke does it. It's got tr uh, transmitter buttons on both sides uh, that I've noticed. I've only noticed one working, but there's two buttons. Maybe this is something that's in progress or process with a final version or to be there. It's got two uh, cable plugs. Now, getting cables is a nightmare for the time of the radio that you require or that you use. Uh, I was able to get this one out of the United Kingdom. There are none in my country in South Africa. Um, I have not had the ability to get this to work perfectly fine with something like the ICOM radio. Um, ICOM is a very uh, popular brand with fixed wing and with uh, general aviation aircraft, especially Paramount. It's a very expensive radio because it's a six, this specific model especially has got a 6 watt transmitter. It's the strongest handheld radio that you'll probably get on the market. It's not a cheap, not a cheap piece of kit. Um, 
So it's got two outputs. I think the one is VHF and the other one is UHF. Uh, I could, that's just a suspicion because there are no real uh, ways for me to confirm that. Uh, it's got an on and off switch, uh, center button here, and then it's got volume controls on both sides of it. Uh, Connection-wise, I can't tell you how strong this is, but it is, it's got a very big, big chipset. Um, the Bluetooth side's got a very big chipset built into the headset itself. Very good microphones. I think it's got, I believe it's got uh, five or six microphones. So that is a pretty extensive. Uh, you know, I've had an engineer when they, when I try to get this to work with the radio, the, the engineer that opened this up, electronic engineer that opened this up, was really impressed with how many microphones and how it was situated and set up. Very impressive design. Very impressive uh, the way they went, um, they went ahead in designing this thing. But there are some kinks because it's the first version and they didn't go to market with it because they wanted to fix it after having feedback from the pilots. Um, for me, I can't test the connection with other pilots. That's the second reason why a helmet like this is very important is that if you were flying with other guys that are uh, within your own community or something like that and you can connect with them uh, on Bluetooth, you'll have an open link mic. For instructors, that is fantastic because uh, that's the way I instruct students. Uh, if, they, uh, if they've got an open link with me, I use the FC5 to do that. So I'm wearing my helmet, but it would have been so great if we could have a headset Bluetooth connected with the, the student and not use a radio uh, communication with the student uh, to talk them through the rotation and landing process and while they're in the circuit, especially those first flights. So I'm, I depend on both. Uh, they have radio and they have um, Bluetooth, but I've had really fantastic results in getting students incident free off the ground while using Bluetooth. I can't tell you that that's going to work perfectly fine for the Bluetooth for the PPT smokers. I haven't been able to. It does not connect with the FC5 helmet uh, with Bluetooth communication. Wasn't able to do that. So there might be issues downrange when you try and connect this with a Cena or something like that. Um, not sure how that's going to play out, and we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. The visors on these helmets are fantastic. Um, your choice is short or long or how it's cut. The visors aren't available from Nirvana right now. Uh, they lost the supply over COVID during the COVID period in the Ukraine war. So they are trying to replace that supply and get new shields to come up. But it has a carbon fiber shield that's made by Nirvana. That, but I love flying with this. It's very much the same as having, if you're flying in a Cessna or fixed wing aircraft, you've got a little bit of a shade that keeps the sun out of your eyes. Um, and that's what you want with cross country flying to keep it out. So I don't really make use of it to keep the, the air out of my eyes because I fly with sunglasses, but when it's up like this, wow, it's just, it's fantastic if you're flying in uh, all day type of flying and keeping the sun out of your eyes. So that's why I've got a short and long um, choice of it. All right, so that is the PPG Smoke. Um, there's going to be more coming because I've asked Ryan from PPG Smoke to send me the version 2 that'll have but hopefully will come in a headset form so I can be I can I'll illustrate the PPG smoke when it's connected with another PPG smoke one by where worn by a student in the helmet and me wearing it as a headset and then we'll uh, we'll record those communications and have a good um, have a good feedback session on how good that really is but as far as I'm concerned the music is fantastic amplifying is good I'm sure if the radio cable uh, situation is sorted out and the radio communication is good, then that would make this helmet worthwhile. Uh, retails around $580, somewhere around that range, probably is what the end is going to be at. Uh, yeah, so when you're going to buy this from, from, a, from, a, from a retailer, you know, even if he goes to the aviator helmets, they're all expensive helmets when you integrate all of this tech. This, the third option or third reason why this is such a great thing is if you're a vlogger or someone that makes videos. Uh, that's really the next step is having noise cancelling microphones. And noise cancelling microphones are difficult to get really good ones. Sina used to make some really fantastic ones, but they end up with a skateboard helmet and wires sticking all over the place. You want that built into a helmet. And for me, the um, uh, the, the the vlogging on this helmet is fantastic. I'm overlaying, I'm putting a piece of video on this where I'm actually talking and you can hear how good and clear the sound is. Ain't that amazing? Beautiful cloud. The amount of wind that we're getting has just been, it's been shoved down the uh, the lee side, the lee side of the mountain. Beautiful. I want to gain some altitude to get over this mountain range because if we're not at uh, quite a distance above the highest hills, we will. 
we will most definitely encounter some serious uh, rotors. This is not even connected directly to the camera. It's connected through a wireless system. The same as what I'm using now to make this audio. That, that allows me to have a camera in front of me. So I'm plugging in my wireless uh, setup here. It goes to the headset on the side here. It's got a 3.5 mic plug-in. And that transmits to the camera in front of me, the Insta360. And that's how I'm going to be making videos in flight. Uh, works really well. So for vloggers, this really is an important thing. If you wanted your transmissions with other pilots recorded while on radio and you want really clear sound for your uh, flying videos, then I think this is going to be the answer. It took me 10 years to try and get to this point where technology is caught up and we can actually have something that can work for vlogging, uh, where the camera is not on your head, but facing you. That was the really big challenge. Now, let me get to the FC5. The FC5 is a really beautiful piece of kit and they... I've had so many versions of this, started at the, I believe it's all the way back to the FC3, going to the FC4, which had a uh, very thin, it's more like a racing helmet, and it wasn't really, didn't have, really have great wiring, um, and a CPU, little computer box system, it wasn't really great, um, or sturdy. It had, it had all the same features as the FC5, but it wasn't really a sturdy setup. And the FC5 brought out something that has got some sturdy cabling to it. It's got its volume control on the side and the transmitter button on top. And it's got a Bluetooth plug-in that you can take out and you can switch it on and off. The new versions have digital, have a little digital screen and gives you a bit, bit more feedback. This little particular G-Smart doesn't even have um, that this now does have. This little, this little Bluetooth model, not that strong, will give you a separation between pilots with an open mic, probably about a two and a half to three kilometer range that you'll be able to communicate, which to me is plenty. Been using this for a very long time. Been on the market for at least seven or eight years. And in that time, I, um, my whole flight community um, loves using the Bluetooth to fly with each other. And also, uh, you know, just to fly cross country, being to be able to connect and jump between frequencies. You can take up to three pilots that you can connect with, uh, with the module that you can share the but, but you've got to pair it, but you can pair it up to three three of these mics. Um, but you'll lose one if you have to add another one. So that's the only downside of these of these systems. Um, now what has changed is the fact that it's got the 3.5 mic plug-in over here. And that goes to your camera or to your wireless mic. In this case, I'll be having it on this helmet. This was never before available on the Nirvana helmet, so when you try and set up a vlogging uh, setup with the Nirvana FC5, it didn't really work out that well. I had a Sina setup on my FC5 and it never gave me clear sound. All those horrible videos, people commenting about how horrible my sound is. But I'm going to overlay a sound version of this. It's better. I'm sure I'll get it tuned out to be even, even better than that by just this, determining the right distance. Uh, that it should be from my mouth, but um, yeah. No, just flying along, nice thousand quid AGL, and suddenly the engine goes off, obviously fake, and what you first thing you do is you close up the trimmers to landing speed, and then you grab your toggles and you turn in the direction of where you see a field, all right, I see a field below me, okay, copy that, so doing S turns to get to that location. Yeah, come on, track where? All right, I got someone that's going to offload a smoke grenade for me. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm judging the wind. Oh, geez, that thing just completely set fire. I'm going to have to try and miss it. There we go. The headset and how you can set it for your ears is really great. It's got a little bit of piece of cloth on the inside. So this has got its winter carpet on the inside. You can take that out and it's got more air that flows in. So in summertime, summertime you can take the, the cloth out and it's got air flowing through it. It's very nice. Uh, to me, it can do all the functions pretty much the PPG Smoke uh, can do. Now that it's got the 3.5 plug-in, it's a great, uh, it's a great uh, vlogging helmet. It's very, it's simplified, it's been tested, it's been flown for such a long time that, and used for such a long time that the final product of this is spectacular. It's such a comfortable helmet to put on your head and goes over your ears well. The, the mounting just, just really works. Radio cable wise, got a really sturdy cable um, and one is able to, let's grab that, show you guys what I mean. 
really sturdy setup. It just the mic goes into the side of the radio, of the cable goes inside of the radio, and what's nice about it is it detaches here along the line. Sturdy plug system that's invented over time. You can have some issues with this, but I think in general, I think quite happy with it. Uh, very clear radio comms, fantastic. Um, I've never had any issues with it. In actual fact, I'm frequently shitting on crop sprayers and helicopters for not having clear comms when I can clearly see them and talk to them and they can't do the same. Sometimes aircraft have problems with their ground wiring, the earth wiring, sorry, um, and the comms aren't that clear. But this is pretty good setup, very good setup. I can hear aircraft 30 miles away um, on a repeated frequency, not a problem at all. So what I do like about the PPG smoke, though, is the fact that it detaches from the headset itself. So if you're not flying with a radio connection, then you'll have no extra piece of cable hanging around that you've got to shove in somewhere else. So two really great products. The idea is that Nirvana will offer both. Um, we'll have to test the market and see how the PPG smoke rolls out. We're waiting for the version 2. We'll put it in. We'll see how that works out. And then that'll be an option for vloggers to run via two different products. Right now, if I had to pick one, this is the version one PPG smoke. I really love the PPG smoke and how it fits, whatever else. But I'll still buy the Nirvana HC5 for now. We'll see um, in the ideal world, I'll have both. Uh, I think they have both great offerings. This one, phone calls, your phone calls and your radio calls and your music, everything is so good with the HC5. It's been tested for such a long time that it is a great product. It's been, It's got great warranty protection on it as well. It's got a problem with your cable. Uh, or faults in the system, you can have this replaced by your importer. Uh, the PPG smoke will be a bit of a different setup, but we'll we'll get that sorted out when it gets to time to get onto market. So, in in summary, having a good helmet um, kind of makes the experience worthwhile for you to fly that you don't have any shortcomings. You can't fly into other pilots; you can communicate really well with them, whether that be with radio or whether that be with Bluetooth. Um, a good helmet could make the difference between life and death, but can also be the, 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 the broken link in the chain that ruins the experience for you. If you're always struggling with your, with your comms, you can't really get things going for yourself. and um, uh, you, uh, it, it can be a disadvantage. It can ruin your flight experience. So invest in a helmet. That is one of the, it, shouldn't, it should be a priority to actually consider this right from the get-go to buy a good helmet. Don't waste money. Don't be stingy on the helmet. Get a good one. There are other good ones in the market as well, but personally, I've been flying with these and I recommend them. Uh, the amount of hours that they can last are both in the region, I mean, two, three week charging times on the FC5. I see this one's about 55 hours of life that it's got on a PPG smoke. So they've both got some serious battery power and battery life to them. I would say the Bluetooth is stronger than the PPG smoke than it is on the FC5, um, but um, I reckon there will be some follow up videos that we can do a final version comparison. I'm still I'm still rooting for the PPG guys, the PPG Smoke guys. I think that they've got a great product. They've got something going there, and I'd really love to see Nirvana push this through. But we'll we'll see what the market says. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Let's see if uh, if I can answer any questions that you might have that might be uh, important for you. All right, adios.